First up, uh, it's a couple of weeks into the tour, uh, Periphery and the Contortionist, uh, how's that been going? Uh, it's been great, like, the, there's a very cool, you know, environment and atmospheres, we've been friends with the band since quite a few times now, and uh, it's been good so far, great venues, great audiences, and there's a good chemistry between, you know, every band members and yeah, it's we been knew, a lot of fun. Yeah. We knew Contortionist um, on the previous European tour with the Protoss Dejo and also the guys in Periphery are, are super cool, super kind, so uh, uh, it's like a group of mates uh, going around Europe, so. Yeah, it's been great so far. Yeah, definitely. Can't complain about anything. Is this like the biggest tour you've been attached to? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, honestly, definitely. yes. Definitely. Yeah. Um, well, in an ideal world, who would you like most like to tour with, like, ever? Like, uh, like you asking to yeah. name a few bands? Yeah, just, just name some people. Well, this this band was for sure on the list. Yeah. Of like like the bands we wanted to tour with. Yeah. So if we had to pick other bands, I would say Lamb of God, <laughs> Mastodon, Gojira, Gojira, and uh, Straight from the Path, yeah. Darren Townsend. Yeah, we are pretty, pretty like Dillinger Escape Plan, but they quit. So, unfortunately, so you guys like to stay eclectic with the stuff you want to be around. Absolutely, yeah. This um, this going back to like some of the music you put out, like over the years, your sounds kind of changed. Like um, uh, King's Fat and Old kind of has more of a Lamb of God corn kind of vibe. Um, uh, the newest album kind of has um, like more of a sixth Protest the Hero vibe. So it's. Yeah, kind of elaborate on how uh, I mean, our music uh, as us as persons uh, is constantly in, in evolution. So uh, we, uh, of course, we change. We were we were a bit maybe younger on yeah. <laughs> what King it, is fat and all that. I mean, what I would say is that like talking about the, the, the possible matching with other bands on tour, uh, it's not it's not anymore a, um, a matter of what kind of music we play, but it's much more about the attitude. Of the band itself, for, so for this reason, uh, as I mentioned uh, a bunch of different, you know, names that do very different genres, but but it's the attitude that stick them together as bands that the main idea to me. Yeah. Um. So, uh, because like the kind of music you make is like progressive metalcore, I imagine a few times people have lumped you in with Gent. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you feel about that? Uh, There's a lot of points of contention about whether it's a genre or not. Uh, it's it's okay with us. We don't even know how to describe our music, so uh, mm. it's I don't think there's much gent in our songs as much as any other bands mm. in this tour, for example. But but if you can hear some gents, then it's fine. We don't we didn't you know make it on purpose. But mm. if it ever happened, then be it. Yeah. Gent is also a matter, not only a matter of notes, it's a matter of uh, also sound mm. and we definitely not sound like a gent band like uh, Monument or, or Periphery or uh, all of this uh, wave of bands. Uh, anyway, yes, we don't have labels. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> if, if you want to, to see gent in our music, that's fine with us. It's not, you know, we don't fight against it and we don't work to appear as a gent band. Um, right, uh, so, um, how far, how far into the UK tour have you been so far? This is the first day, right? Yeah, yeah, just two show. Today in Manchester and, uh, tomorrow in London. Mm. You've been in England before? Oh yeah, yeah. we made, uh, one year, one year ago, one year and a half ago, we made, we made, uh, SIG tour. Mm. SIG UK oh, tour. Opening up for SIG, and then we play the Bloodstock. Open air festival. We play Tech Fest. Tech then we make Fest. a couple of headliner show in Kentish Town and um, Candem, Barfly. Barfly and Candem and um, which was the other one? Uh, Myth of Kings. Myth of Kings, yeah. And uh, yeah, a couple of times we play Tech Fest. Uh, yeah, we've been to the UK quite a few Ooh. times. Yeah. yeah, we love UK. Yeah, because it's a group. People is always uh, yeah, good crowd always. Do you feel you get a bigger name over here? I don't know, I hope so. I mean, like being in UK most times. Is <laughs> let's see tonight. Country. Yeah, let's see how it goes tonight. Exactly. Right on, right on. Um, 
for another couple of minutes. Um, okay, just just finishing up. Um, you both have like five albums that you kind of brought, like when you start when you when you kind of start as a band, you kind of each individually have a few albums that kind of like brought together makes your sound. Like what did you two bring? Like you have a few albums kind of for important to you. Wow. <laughs> Tough question. You know what? I don't think this ever happened to us no. as a band. Like we, we never, you know, we never throw albums on the table and, and say, okay, this is the magic recipe to to make our music. Let's make a few, like uh, ten percent of Metallica and twenty percent of that. You know, it's like especially it's because we came from uh, five different, oh completely yeah. different backgrounds, Absolutely. from our core to uh, to. Um, New wave of British heavy metal to American metal. It's not. It's not calculated. It's very like, too many spontaneous. Places. It's too very many spontaneous. Places. We never had a discussion that way. Hmm. All right. Uh, so, uh, is there anything else you want to end with? Do you want to plug your album or something? Oh sure. Be sure to listen to our last album, A Means to No End, out now for Metal Blade Records. And be sure to check out our socials. Uh, just keep an eye on us. Yeah, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and make sure to check out the last gigs of this European tour. Maybe we can see you around if you don't live in the UK. Yeah.